In this video, we're going to learn how to make things happen when you navigate between screens in React Native using React Navigation. It's not what you think. Let's go. What we have here, people, is a snack um, created by Expo. You can run React Native code in the browser. You can actually run it on your device by scanning this code. In this case, not right now from my video, but you can if you wanted to. So we're just going to look at uh, the web rendering of this particular app and what we're gonna do is try to figure out what exactly happens when we navigate between screens in React Native using React Navigation so that we can understand why our normal logic that we may have learned from doing React on the web just doesn't apply in the same ways when using React Navigation specifically for navigating between screens. This is all well documented uh, by the fabulous React Navigation developers in this article called Navigation Lifecycle on their website. Feel free to check that out. I will hopefully not forget to put a link in the description. However, this is a simple app um, that basically uh, I have a, a few components. I have a home screen here. I have a details screen here. Oh, this light mode is killing my brain and I have a profile screen here and as you can see each one has a use effect and we have a this other thing called use focus effect um, which you may or may not be familiar with but bear with me we'll kind of try to understand this together I'm gonna comment that out for now so just keep an eye out we're gonna look at the logs which you guys cannot see at all one sec let's see if I can bring that on up to you here can I resize a window oh my god I don't think I can I think I'm gonna quit being a developer I'm gonna go work at chick-fil-a huh okay Okay, I still get to be a developer. All right, so if you take a look here at the logs, I'm just gonna randomly click through this app and we are going to see what gets logged. You're gonna see your, your, what you may be familiar with from use effect where we're gonna log when it gets mounted and then we're gonna also log when the component gets unmounted. You're also gonna see a bunch of logs about the focus for right now, we're going to ignore those because I don't feel like commenting them, out, commenting them out. So, home screen, go to details. Details gets mounted. That's what you would expect, right? The next screen gets mounted. Um, and then we see some stuff about the focus. Let's, let's go to profile. We'll see that the profile component got mounted. And let's go back to home and you will see that the profile or I'm sorry the home component and and actually here is where what we do not see becomes uh, more important we don't see here in this last uh, log that the home component got mounted but yet we are looking at the home component we do not see that uh, the we see that here in this case that the the profile component did get unmounted but if we go back to the beginning, we don't see that any of these other components got unmounted until we came all the way back around and went back to the home component. So what is going on here? Well, it turns out that uh, for mobile, the, the needs for how all this works are just different. For a website, um, you know, the, the performance of switching between URLs is not as critical as for mobile. And it's actually mentioned in the documentation here. But what is happening is, uh, long story short, React, Nav React Navigation is trying to uh, be more efficient um, and performant in that it's just not going to throw away all the previous screens you went to because nine times out of ten within a mobile app, you're going to go back to those screens. So throwing them away doesn't really make sense. Um, so your normal usage of use effect where you would say, okay, when my component mounts, I'm going to do this. When it unmounts, I'm going to do that. Um, that does not work here in the way uh, with use effect. The use effect is still useful, but not in this particular instance, instance as far as uh, navigating to and from a screen. So what do you do instead? Well, spoiler alert, you use focus effect instead. 
So how this works, let's get all the way back to our top component here. You guys can see that. So with use focus effect, it's very similar. It works almost exactly the same as use effect. However, it's called when this component is, or I should say when this screen is focused, because we are specifically talking about a component being used as a screen with React Navigation. So if we uh, now pay more attention to the focus logs, and you know what, let me, um, I will comment out these use effects. Let's try to clean up what we end up seeing or else it's gonna look stupid. And one more is down here. Use effect. All right, so we'll clear this out and we'll just look at the log. So we're on the home screen, we go to details, we're focused on the details screen. Obviously, this is exactly what we want. We unfocus the home screen. Now we're going to go to profile. The profile screen is focused. We unfocus the details screen. And then if we go back to home, we see that the uh, profile screen is now unfocused and we are focused on the home screen. Um, so we've gone around in a circle. So how does this work? Again, the uh, the, the signature or API for use focus effect is, this, is almost the same as use effect. The difference is you have to use use callback inside of your use focus effect. And this is what allows you to kind of get that same uh, dependency array that you would have with use effect. So in this example, uh, we're just logging stuff. So we really want to run this every time the screen is focused. So we have no dependencies here. Um, let's say we wanted to fetch some data or something like that. Then we could put here, I don't know, uh, URL or something, some, some variable that uh, we may be getting from the, the URL or from our context or some prop. And we could put that here so that we'd only fetch the data when that variable actually changed rather than every time this screen gets focused. Um, and again, all this is uh, documented extremely well in the React Navigation documentation, but it seems like it gets overlooked a lot because a lot of people end up, uh, you know, I hang out way too much in, in Discord. A lot of people ask, you know, how do I navigate bet between screens? How do I make sure something happens when I get to a certain screen? Why isn't use effect working? Well, because you don't use use effect you have to follow how to do this with React Navigation, and that is use focus effect. So, um, I feel like I'm uh, selling you guys short on how to do all this, and maybe I need a better example. So, I am going to modify our home screen and see if we can't put together something a little more realistic. Let's, so, I guess we're gonna fetch a dog. <laughs> You actually should go and read this because the scenario that it's explaining really helped put things in perspective, but I just wanted to throw you guys the basics real quick. So let's see, we got, I keep trying to do v, <laughs> VI <laughs> in this thing that does not support it. All right. So hopefully this should result in us hitting this API, getting a string that will put into our state the URL of a dog, which we can then use here. Look at that. 
that as a function, so that's not going to work. So then we see here we are getting our result. And as you can see, I'm doing this weird thing here with console.log. I'm doing or and then the actual code I want to run. And that's because console.log returns undefined. So it will still run this and log the thing. And then since it returns undefined, it will still go ahead and execute this state update here. Um, you can actually do this in your JSX as well, which is a little weird, but you know, sometimes you just need to know what something is. So we know now that we're getting this, oh my God, we're getting the URI or the URL here. So this should be showing us an image, but we took away the styles, which is probably not smart. something boom there we go so as you can see now when we go to this home component it's going to load this random image from the dog API so what I really need if there is a dog don't do anything that will stop us from having an infinite loop so if we already have a dog is basically if we have a dog, do not fetch a dog, right? And then we can add dog as the dependency. Let me see if I can make this not jump up around for you guys. So you can see we add, we can now add this as a dependency. So if the dog changes, it'll run this effect. Um, and actually, I don't need that at all. I'm being an idiot. What I really need is if, if we have a dog, do not fetch a dog. So this will still run every time this component gets focused. Uh, it just won't fetch a dog every time unless it's the first time that this component is getting mounted. So we don't need this either. We can just set dog data dot message. So now if we go around the universe, like say we go to a profile, we go back to home, it's going to change. But if we just go back, it is still changing. Why? Let's see. Let's take this log out. And we're on a detail screen. And what is it complaining about? Oh, you're an idiot. Okay, my bad. Put the dog back. We're using the dog. All right. Home screen. Home screen has a dog. We go to details. We unfocused home. We're on the detail screen. We go back to home. And as you can see, it's the same dog. If we go to details and go to profile, I wonder if we can still go back. Yep, still can go back and we can see that it's still the same dog because this component is not being thrown away. This home component is not being thrown away just because we left it, right? So now if we go, I believe if we go back to home, for some reason it decides to, no, it didn't do it. It still kept our state intact. So our state is remaining intact even though we're no longer on that screen. So the only way that's actually pretty useful when you think about why it's doing that. So basically the only way we'd get a new dog to fetch is if for some reason, say we had a more complex um, navigation setup where maybe we have multiple stacks, we, we have a login and logged out portion of the app or something like that. Um, and in that way, uh, you know, in that way, we might have a situation where when we come back here, we don't have the same state or something like that. It just depends uh, on your particular app. But the core thing being, uh, we don't want to fetch this dog every time you go to this screen if we've already got the dog. Without this if statement here, and if we don't have this dependency, because we don't want an infinite loop. If we don't have this dependency, you can see the common scenario where every time we go to this home screen, we want to do something, which would be, I want to fetch a new dog every time you go to the screen. It's a very common scenario. Boom. So hopefully that is helpful and I didn't ramble too much. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please reach out in the comments. Definitely go to the React Navigation documentation. 
give this article uh, this this section a read on the navigation lifestyle it is not a life cycle it's not that long but it's very helpful to understand uh, why we need to use uh, use effect I'm sorry use focus effect as well as uh, uh, using react that use callback along with that um, to control when that effect is actually going to be run um, once again Thanks for stopping by. Peace.